You know, Archie is a name that nobody was really expecting. Right. I think there was a hundred pounds in total that had been wagered on that name in the UK. It was a hundred to one that they would pick it because there hasn't been an Archie in the British royal family. I don't think ever. And also the idea that Archie isn't short for Archibald, but it's a very popular modern name in England. And so I really think that Meghan and Harry wanted to have their own mark with this baby, not be picking what was tradition. So maybe James, Charles, Philip, something like that. So they went with Archie Harrison. What's been very interesting about today is that Harry and Meghan have elected not to give Archie a title. Now he was able, if he wanted to, to become the Earl of Dumbarton, but they've decided not to, so instead he's going to be known as Master Archie Harrison. Now he will become Prince Archie Harrison. Once Charles takes over the throne, when the Queen has passed away, then actually Archie will automatically become a prince. So the Queen doesn't have to appoint that to him then? The Queen would have to appoint for Archie to become a prince today right. in uh, May 2019. But once the Queen has passed away, once Charles becomes king, then Archie will become a prince. The reason being is he will be the son, the offspring of the son of the sovereign. Do you think Meghan and Harry will want him to have that title of prince because they didn't go with the formal title already? What's so interesting about Meghan and Harry electing not to give Archie an official regal sounding title at the moment is actually that while titles seem great and they might get you a really good dinner reservation, they also mean that there can be pressure on living up to that title, right? So if you're an earl, if you're a baron, if you're a lord, if you're a prince, it can feel quite pressured growing up. Meghan and Harry really do want their son, want their family to be able to live a normal life. There are, of course, course going to be royal pressures, but they also know that there's as much importance in being able to live outside of the fishbowl as there is in it. Because he's seventh in line, correct? Mm -hmm. Archie at the moment is seventh in line to the throne. The likelihood of him ever taking the throne is very, very slim. Harry has seen that when you are an heir, when you are closer, higher up the pecking order, then that can be very pressured, it can be hard. Mm -hmm. He sees it with his brother. Harry actually did an interview in Newsweek magazine a couple of years ago where he talked about how it could kind of be like a curse. For Harry and Meghan, there are advantages to being in the royal family. You get this world stage, you're on a pulpit, you can help people, but it also, also can be a lot of pressure. And so with Archie not having a title, they're able to kind of give him the best of both worlds. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now. Thanks.